welcome to YCFT. We have just got out of seeing Thanksgiving, directed by Eli Roth, and this is a spoiler-free review, and Thanksgiving is a seasonal slasher. Mm. Very much a throwback mm-hmm. to seasonal slashers of the past. You can definitely see the inspiration of the likes of Halloween and Scream, although Scream obviously isn't a seasonal slasher. I do think that you can see the influences. Yeah. Yes, there. definitely. And the film falls around Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Shockingly, the film opens on Black Friday and a riot kind of ensues. Yeah. Kind of like throwback to some of the things we've seen in the past. I don't think Black Friday is quite like that today, <laughs> but we have seen rioting shoppers in Black Friday in the past. A few bad things kind of happen and then the film takes us a year later where someone dressed as a pilgrim is taking revenge on a couple of key players from that catastrophe the previous year. Mm. And that's Thanksgiving. To boil it down, it is kind of that simple. Now, this is based off a fake trailer short film that Eli Roth did back in 2007. Like a grindhouse-y style thing. And I think you'd be surprised at just how much from that short has made it into this film. Like, a lot of the key kills have been, like, remade. He's left out some of the cruder elements from it. Yeah. Yes, now having watched it, he definitely has. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But it's kind of cool that 16 years later, he's... Yeah, he's revisited it. He's revisited it and made it as a full film. There was a solid idea there. So, Sam. Yes. As someone who was a bit apprehensive about seeing this film, because obviously he's known as a very gory yeah. director. Yeah. What did you think? So I, I was very ambivalent about, about seeing this one. Based on the trailer alone, every time I saw the trailer in the cinema, I I winced and I had to look away at certain parts. So I was very nervous about, about seeing it. I think... I've, I've not seen all of Eli Roth's movies. Um, Hostel, obviously, I've seen. I had seen Green Inferno. But it was just the trailer more than anything. It wasn't so much Roth's reputation. I didn't necessarily want to go and see it because I thought I was just going to spend half my time looking away from the screen with my fingers in my ears. That being said, I had such a fucking good time with this movie. <laughs> It was so much fun. The gore I handled very well. There's a particular scene in the trailer that involves, you know, a corn cob skewers being plunged into someone's ears. And that was the bit that I was really nervous for. But I took it like an absolute pro. I had such a fun time. I really enjoyed the premise. I loved the the opening at that, you know, little, uh, like, convenience. It's not really a convenience store. It is like a proper store. Um, and I, lo- I love the carnage that ensues from that. It's obviously, you know, really over the top. I really enjoyed the characters in this in this too. Every single kill is solid. It's They stand out so well. The effects are brilliant, really imaginative. I don't think a character is killed the same way twice. I had a bloody good time. Same to be honest. I think some of the characters were a bit dull for me. I think in particular our final girl. Nothing against the actress, but I think considering a lot of her friends are much, much more outgoing. Yeah. I think she kind of gets overshadowed a little bit. But a lot of the side characters have enjoyed. Like I said, the kills. When you go see a film like this... It's for the kills. Absolutely. It's The first thing you can think of is, are the kills good? It's like, yes, the kills are fantastic Yes. in this film. And I really like how it leans into the Thanksgiving theme throughout, the, throughout oh, its entirety. It, it does. It, you couldn't take this plot and really just use it anywhere else. Like, There's so many things that are revolving around that holiday. And obviously, we're in the UK. We don't have Thanksgiving. No. Black Friday for us is a much smaller deal yeah. Than it is in America. Yeah. Is in America. I don't know how big it still is in America. And obviously, Thanksgiving is a massive holiday. So the, our only knowledge of this comes from film and TV. Yeah. And my benchmark for a Thanksgiving horror movie is Thanks Killing. I think my benchmark is that scene in Adam's Family Values where Wednesday goes rogue and rewrites that play. <laughs> that's that's all I know of Thanksgiving. I also I had a bloody good time. I I really like the design of the killer. Yeah. The simplicity yeah, of the it. Pilgrim. Pilgrim. The Pilgrim, yeah, the way he's lit and framed. Yeah. And even the fact we have a lot of screen time of him. My only downside to it is like he's kind of just in a boiler suit. I kind of wish they went a bit more, like give him a Pilgrim's coat or something. I only ever really noticed that in the more well lit areas, like in the for the rest of the movie when it's a bit dark. I mm. don't re- really tell. I like the mask that he's got, the hat, mm-hmm. obviously the axe is his like primary yeah. weapon. Yeah, really, really enjoyed. I do think this movie is not reinventing the slasher wheel. Mm. It just feels like a return. Or a homage to seasonal holiday slashers of the past. And I do think that the mystery element of it, as cool as it is, I think if you've watched a couple of these types of movies, you will probably quite quickly be able to work out who the killer is. But that doesn't mean that it isn't a fun ride along the way. I think we both figured out who who was behind the mask 
very very early on and i don't know if it's it's just because you know we 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 watch slashes all the time you know this is not it's not a new genre for us so it'd be interesting to hear from other people who maybe aren't as familiar if they were able to gauge who it is as well but i you know i i agree the the, the mystery is solid and the the cast is quite vast in that the film presents a lot of potential suspects as to who it could be. You know, it's not it's not obvious in the sense, well, oh, it's it's got to be this person because, you know, they're the only person left. You know, that there are a, a, a nice number of, of suspects, all of whom are a little bit cagey in in their own way. So that that was the biggest weakness for me. I think it it was pretty easy to figure out who it was, but I liked the motive, it, it, you know, at the end of the day. The mystery was very intriguing. You know, I enjoyed like trying to piece pieces of the puzzle together. Going back to what you said earlier about, you know, the final girl being a little bit dull. I totally agree with that. And <laughs> we also were talking on the way back that obviously, you know, this is set in Plymouth, Massachusetts, this, you know, small town in uh, in America. And vast majority of the cast I, I'm going to assume have like quite authentic Massachusetts ass accents. I'm not going to I'm not going to do an, a, an impression of one, but you know, they were all giving it a really good go. Aside from our teenage characters. None of them have that Massachusetts no, accent. No, they all had like the Valley Girl accent, you know, like the typical kind of West Coast accent. And I was like, okay, well that kind of, that took it out. A li- took me out of it just a, a little bit. I mean, you know, we've also got those really kind of douchey uh, characters, the teenagers who, you know, play football and they've all got their varsity None of them jackets. Look like te- I think more so than most, they do not look like teenagers. <laughs> I just have like such a fucking issue with um, with those kind of like, they're always male characters. They always wear, you know, those fucking sports jackets that they wear and they think they're so cool. Who fucking thinks they're cool in one of those jackets? Like it always, it always gets me. But th- this movie, it does present you with a lot of really either annoying characters or really despicable characters that you want to, to get see killed. killed. Like you yeah. want to see the pilgrim go balls to the wall with these characters and yeah the film delivers in in that respect like i said it definitely feels like a throwback even like having those douchey sporty type characters Ugh. slashes of of recent kind of would frame those characters a lot more differently even something like halloween enza has like the band geeks are now the bullies and stuff like that i feel like because of the type of film that this is paying homage to mm. we needed those types of characters yeah definitely to, fit, to you know fit the framework definitely yeah, and Roth also, you know, he is a fanboy. He's, you know... Massive horror fan. Absolutely. He did a documentary, which is on Shudder, you know, talking about different subgenres within horror. It has some great collaborators on that, talking to them, you know, like, about ghost films and about slasher films. So, this, you know, Roth is a guy who loves the genre, and this is very much a love letter. You know, he's saying, like, this is reminiscent of Halloween and Scream. There's very specific scenes where you're like, that is from Halloween. Yeah, you know, and I don't think he's he's not trying to hide that in any way, but it's um it's not so much stealing, I guess, is it's a it's a homage, you know, like it's respect. out of respect, yeah, totally. And I I just I loved it. It's like I was not shocked when the killer was revealed at all, but the mystery, you know, was solid all the way through. The kills, my like, they are insane. I absolutely love them. It is very gory. I'm glad they pushed for that 18 rating or over in the States, the R rating for something like this, because it would have been so easy for this film to have been PG-13 or a 15 over here, reduce the blood, and it would probably be a more forgettable film, but the fact they went for that hard rating, let's mm. make it bloody, let's make the kills memorable, let's make people wince. Yeah. And there was a couple of times in the screening where so, I heard someone go, <gasps> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. from like, little moments and that's just, that's what you want from a movie like this it had me from the get-go with that riot scene at the um at that supermarket place that that store i mean even like there's a lot i of think scenes. it's meant to be like a walmart type a store. walmart yeah thank you i was trying to think of like what the correct term is. yeah like a, a walmart st- style place and you know like everyone's fighting over the waffle makers <laughs> You know, like, come what may, but they are leaving that store without Waffle Maker. It's insane. And yeah, I've, I've seen people fighting in a store like that around Christmas time and Boxing Day. <laughs> it was a really solid premise that the film springboards from, and I, I appreciated that. I would watch this again? I, d- I would absolutely uh, watch it again. I think it ranks pretty high for me in terms of the slashes that we've seen this year. Yeah, definitely. In regards to just an enjoyable, fun time, Slashes are meant to subvert your expectations. They might throw a couple of twists and turns in there, but ultimately mm. they are an easy watch with some kills that might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. And this film achieves this. If it gets sequels, I would watch the sequels. If this popped up on a streaming service in the next year, I'd probably put it on, especially around 
Thanksgiving. So we don't celebrate it here, so we'll watch a movie instead. We'll watch... Well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What well, kind of weirdly coincides with the opening of our Christmas markets. Yeah, yeah. Christmas starts very fucking early. I'm considering here. what we saw in town today, which was like Bedlam. I suppose that's the closest oh, we God. can relate to something like that. So oh, yeah. But I would say this is the definitive Thanksgiving horror movie now. Yes. Yeah, I you definitely. know cornered a market here, Eli Roth for Found for a sure. holiday which doesn't really have a signature yeah. slasher. Exactly. I mean obviously like Thanks Killing was a was a thing, but I mean I think everyone it was sort of considers a thing. that a bit of a, a joke. <laughs> yeah. You know, not necessarily the the definitive Thanksgiving horror. So I think I think he's done a really good job. Go check it out if you're interested in it. If not, I'm sure it'll be on streaming fairly fairly soon. It's a good time. It really, really is. Even for us who have zero connection to the holiday. Yeah. Had a lot of fun with it. So Thanks a lot, guys, and we will see you on Thursday for our regularly scheduled programming.